Hello, my name is Gary Tibbetts. I'm the owner of Quantum Harvest. This is my latest uh, unit here. This is the Model 2550. Um, this unit was actually started out as a custom job for gentlemen in Louisiana, but I, I like the design well enough, so I decided to add it to the lineup. So, it's a this particular model is a, is a 24 volt model. This is one of the solar panel assembly. This is a 200 watt solar panel assembly that goes with it. As you can see in the background, I've got some things already set up here to save time. So I'm going to push this around and. This, this unit weighs about 240 pounds, so it's not, a, it's not an unusually heavy thing. So we're gonna, later on, I'm going to do a little home repair here, so I'm going to use this instead. Now this, this particular unit here, the, the gentleman that, that owns it supplied the inverter. Ordinarily, I probably would use the, uh, the straight 2,000 watt uh, Samlex inverter that I ordinarily use, but this is also a very good inverter. Okay, so to, to basically the features of the item, there's, a, there's an AC battery charger here. To, to, you can store it. When it's being stored, you can pl keep it plugged in, keep the batteries charged. I'll have to mess with the solar panels. You've got a, a 60 amp solar charge controller here. There are eight 35 amp hour batteries underneath here. You've got a, you've got a 300 amp main fuse here to protect everything. You can see this, as you can see, this model is also EMP protected. This is one of the features here is the special RF gasketing and the copper tape here. This is one of several things that have been done to this case to render it EMP protected. This is the main control panel here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now the numbers on the, on the gauge here on the camera, they bounce around, but I don't, that's something about cameras, so ordinarily they're quite steady. The red numbers on top show the battery bank voltage. And the blue numbers on the bottom show the charging amperage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this inverter on. That's it. The outlet, there's a single outlet right here, 20 amp. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug my trusty, uh, trusty old beat up cables in here. Now the, the smaller cable here is for, uh, I, have a, I have my charger going for my cordless drill. I got my saws set up here. Later on I'll be dragging the lumber and whatnot out. Now the, Solar panels themselves. I've got two here already set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in. You notice there's three jacks here. This will hit this particular unit will handle three 200 watt panels, even in that hot Louisiana sun, which we certainly don't have here today. And they they just they simply plug in, just plug straight in. And then I will go and I will set up this up this third unit to show how it, how these are set up. And we make we make two different versions of this. This particular unit is a, is a double panel, 200 watt. We also make a, a three panel, 300 watt. But this particular one, being 24 volt, requires the two wired together to make 24 volts. So you just lock the wheels down. You bring it over to wherever you're going to set it up. Sun's kind of gone in here a little bit, but it's not unusual for Maine. Just gonna let the wheels back down. Now this this entire assembly weighs only maybe a little over 30 pounds, so it's not particularly heavy. It simply unfolds. And there are struts on the back that hold it up. You kind of angle it into the sun there by eye about as best you can. And you run the cable out. You can see I'm running the cables out behind everything here so I don't trip over them while I'm working. Cables are plugged in, and there's a there's a breaker here that keeps them because you, you never want to plug solar panels into a charge controller until the charge controller is connected to the batteries. And you can see this one is you probably can't see it too well in the light, but there's a green power LED that's on, and the battery light's flashing, so it indicates that that's plugged in. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut that breaker. Now the red charge light comes on, and I'm actually putting. The batteries are nearly charged, so she's only putting in about four and a half amps into the battery bank. So that, that's it. That's that's the setup on the thing. It takes about five minutes to set it up. It takes longer to drag the panels out and set them up than anything. 
Um, if, you're only, if you're only doing a few rough jobs, all you really need to do, you don't need panels at all, you just run it off the batteries. Now, this particular unit will also run refrigerators, freezers, that sort of thing. Um, obviously computers, lights, televisions, anything like that. But it's just, this type of inverter is a, is a true sine wave inverter. It's really good at running refrigerators and anything with a motor in it. Also my saws and stuff here. I don't think anyone wants to listen to that too long. My trusty beat up cross cut saw here. I spent part of yesterday afternoon ripping 2x4s on that with this, so I, I know it puts out plenty of power. So, that's about it. Um, as I said, this is the Model 2550. I haven't got the web page done yet on the site, but I will be doing that shortly. So right. you can go on the website and find out more about it. There will be more pictures and the specifications and so forth. And I guess that's about it. Thank you for your time.